Hi everybody, um, another video today. Now I've changed up my entire room. I've changed up the whole way this is going to function now and uh, hopefully for the better. Also making it some kind of like museum to my own work. Massively vain but uh, I've got no other real place to put any of my stuff that I've been using and it's like I just feel it's too sentimental, sentimental, and you can never get that word right, to throw in the bin. So I've stuck it all over my walls, like some sort of like serial killer. If someone walked into this room, they'd think that I'm a bit of a weirdo. But anyway, I'll show you uh, what I've done, and you can let me know what you think, and if I'm a bit weird for doing it. So yes, straight from the front door, we've got like all my Doom stuff. So uh, all the sort of we iconic weapons from the game, the explosions, also the dangling dead bodies, and uh, as we go up the wall here, we're starting to get more into the levels. Also got like Cyber Demon there, various doors that we've used. Here's a, uh, a picture of an alien that my grandmother drew me. She's not with us anymore, unfortunately, but uh, something I'll keep forever that. And then we've got more levels up here. Then we move more into like the alien films. We've got kind of the chest burster, the alien himself, the Nostromo and all its cargo and that sort of thing, the space jockey, the chest burster and the mouth of the alien and Ripley and that sort of stuff and put my uh, my skateboard on the wall that's still there we got like the Doom 2 stuff that I worked on for my late night review uh, angry video game nerd script there that I spent a fortune on uh, small skateboards and then down here here's all like uh, my work that I'm actually gonna pin these on the wall somehow pin them on the wall so they dangle like that and then you can just go in and pick out various sheets and have a look back at this all this work that I did and printed out and spent a lot of time doing. So yeah, we got uh, Super Mario World there. We got Star Fox, and Star Fox was a good one because that really didn't include many levels, but it included a lot of uh, cardboard cutouted uh, bosses and enemies in the game. We've got Super Mario Land there. So you've got all the levels here, and in the back, you've basically got like the manual and all the characters that I used. He's from Castlevania, what's he doing there? The Mario Bros. 3, that was the first one I ever did. And again, all the characters and stuff in the back there. And then Castlevania, I like that, that one. Oh, where's all the characters gone? I think they're in the front somewhere. So anyway, that's all my stuff here. I'm pretty pleased with it. We also, I thought, I thought I'd also stick the cardboard controller. It's missing some of the bits on it, but you know. And then also the uh, the Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, which is also cardboard. The paint, the paint is flaking off. It's got paint on it already from some other projects I did. But you know, it's, it's too important to throw away for me, really. So I will stick these on the wall at some point. That will all be good. And uh, yeah, this is my studio so far. I'll just go around. Oh, there's the alien there peering through. That's one of my favorite shots from Alien. And that there is like an art uh, picture I did uh, in Tokyo. I don't know if I've shown you this to you before, but I got everybody I met in Tokyo to draw on it. And then I turned it into this art print that I uh, did when I was a bit of a graffiti artist. And then going around here, that's my grandmother's, uh, my grandmother painted that, it's amazing. My friend De Fuma uh, did that, which is basically a aliens print. We're capturing all the different uh, people and aliens from the film. Really, really cool that man. And then finally, very, very bright, lighting set up wrong. My, my set. So this is my new room containing everything which makes me the person that I am today. Oh, also, um, I've got this couch as well that I got, which is going to be for later reviews. It looks a bit manky actually, but uh, it was a very, very expensive couch and uh, Wilson claimed it as his own and then the rest is history. But it's actually quite a nice couch. And also I've got this green screen here. Now this green screen, it came really compact and uh, it came in a little zip bag. It was about about the size of this, it was quite small. So I unzipped it and it all sprung out and hit me right in the face with the plastic bit on the side. But it's okay, it's not too bad. Unfortunately, it rounds off at the bottom there and I kind of need that, so. But it's okay for the moment. I do have another green screen as well, so. Uh, oh, also, check these out, man. You might like these. Let's move this right here. Lost in Translation Skateboards. I think they're awesome. You've got Bill Murray and Scarlet down there definitely lost. So what I've got to do today. Today I have to, please don't knock over this light, I've knocked over these lights a million times now and broken the bulbs. Be very careful. Okay so what I've got to do today is again the spider mastermind but 
I've got to do like an animation death for him. So I'm trying to think of the best way to dispose of him. So what I've got to do first is have him falling over because the spider mastermind falls over when he dies. It's like that. So I've got to try and figure out the best way to have him fall over. Maybe sort of like that. That leg goes up, that leg goes down. So we try and do that. And then what I'll do is cut it once I've got him falling over in the best way I can and then potentially set fire to him and do something with the set. So it might be including basically like just dotting blood around the place, setting fire to him a little bit, tearing bits off. So basically it will just show the aftermath. So he'll fall over, I'll make it, I'll, I'll put an explosion or a number of explosions and then it will just show the aftermath of the, the, the spider mastermind. Hopefully that looks good, I don't know, but um, we'll have to wait and see. So uh, let's get to it, let's, let's uh, have him falling over. Okay, so here we go. I've got to make the spider mastermind fall over. Now I've got a feeling this is gonna be harder than it looks. So I want him like that and, oh no, that's quite good. But we want to have the least amount of shadows possible. So we want this leg slightly tilted like that and then it would be a case of making sure we don't get any of the uh, glare and, but again, I think I need to stretch these out a little bit like that. Okay, let's go for that. So what we're going to try now is we're going to try and bend his foot like that so we can actually perch on the part of his foot. And then, oh. <laughs> okay, let's try bending it the other way then. So he's perching on the foot and, oh, that's not too bad. I just need that foot to go like that way. It's tough, it's a tough cookie, man. And if I push that way, it might work. It's tough though, man. You see, what happens is, what I want this to do is I want that leg to go like that and it to go like that and then bring the leg up like that. That's what I want it to do, but unfortunately, it ain't gonna do it. Do you know what I think I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to have it like that, which looks quite ridiculous, and just have him falling. But you get the glare, where the card moves, you get the glare, which is a real bastard. Just had an idea. I can use my hands for this. So what I'll do is I'll do the first part of him falling with my hands. So having up close and personal, and you... Okay, that's quite good. It's just too difficult to do it from, from close to back. Okay, let's move it to about there. And I can get my hands out the shot. And mm. <laughs> This is equally difficult. Let's lift it up a little bit so you don't get my hands too much in the shot. Okay. It's just a lot of glare. Let's just move them around and see what we can get. Okay. One, two, three. That was quite good. Four. Five, that's quite good. Oh, the chain gun's coming off. That was great. Let's go with that one. Okay, so now what I've got to do is actually destroy this guy. And I can do this without really uh, doing much at all in the way of filming. I can just, this is basically the aftermath shot. So I've got to show him absolutely obliterated. So I've got to paint, I've got to basically paint the set here, blood everywhere. I'm gonna to have to set fire to this guy a little bit. So let's have some fun. Okay, so what I've got to do now is actually do something to this, this spider mastermind. I think the first thing to do would be to take its legs off. And I probably do need a scalpel for this, but like I might just tear him up with my hands and burn him and do all sorts of other things. So I take the legs off. I probably do need a scalpel for this. Do we have a scalpel here? There we go. Ah, the scalpel. Fantastic. So let's just cut the legs here like that. So the leg will go there. We probably need blue tack as well, which we have a little bit here. Okay, so I've cut his legs up. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe having one leg resting down like that somehow. Um, I need more blue tack. We need more blue tack. Where can we get salvage more blue tack from? So now we've got some bit of blue tack. Let's blue tack this first leg to the floor like that. We probably want to have it back a little bit maybe. Back a little bit like that. How's that look? Yeah. Maybe have the other one standing up. I don't know. What do you reckon? 
or, or, or just tilt it to the side perhaps like like that bend it up a little bit yeah maybe something like that now the main part here we got to do let's cut off the chain gun and what we can do is have the chain gun the actual part of the chain gun we can have lying on the ground potentially if it would come off all right there Shit, that's hot. And we crumple this up like that. And put it down there. It's quite good actually like that. Now for the main part. This is like, oh, we got these parts here as well. Let's crumple those up there. Put these down here, it's a bit of fire. I might crumple these bits up and burn them at the end. Bit of extra fire there. Oh. Okay, here's the fun bit. We're gonna basically splodge this guy on the ground somehow, like bits of him there. I don't know. I don't know. First things first though, we need some blood. Was that a bit overkill? I think it probably was. Okay, that was a little bit overkill with the blood because there isn't a lot of blood when the spider, the spider mastermind dies. So we put him here. I think like, have I, I, I'm not gonna have it too accurate for the game potentially. Let's add a bit more blood to his face here. Let's add some fire as well. I tilt him forward like that. That looks quite good actually. I still want to keep his face, but I mean, that's all quite good. But what I need to do is add some fire. So I think I'll need to film this as I do it because uh, I've got it just the way I want it. <laughs> that looks pretty good, man. I love the ash. Oh man, what do you think of that? <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm pretty pleased with that. Right, let's move these lights a little bit closer perhaps. And How's that? So now what I've got to do is I've got these little balls of uh, uh, tissue paper. I'm gonna set fire to them and just drop them behind him and uh, her, sorry, and hopefully add some interesting fire smoke effects. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna perch myself behind here. Hopefully it doesn't jeopardize the light too much. I'll take my ball of tissue. And oh, we're not filming on high quality. One minute. Now we're filming in high quality. Can you tell the difference? Probably not. Right, I'm gonna drop this ball of fire behind his head there. Get some nice smoke effects, hopefully.
Well, I don't know if that worked or not. <laughs> We're gonna have to see. Um, I think it went a bit crazy, but let's just, just blow it as well. Okay, afterwards we're gonna blow it and just uh, add a bit of, uh, I don't know. Oh shit, <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, we're gonna see how that went and uh, go from there. But I, I think we got the shot. If if not, it could have been a bit better. I might shoot it again one day and because uh, we've got a lot a lot more to do. But hopefully, hopefully I got it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and I'll see you once again for more late night reviews. Goodbye, everybody.